It is so encouraging to know that the present government has declared this year the year, not of talking about it, not of alarming people, not of warning, but of action. And it's a huge encouragement to those of us who have been worrying about this problem for a very long time to know that now the government of this country is going to do something in Glasgow at the end of this year. Calling for us to get to net zero as soon as possible. No carbon neutral. Net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Um, global warming is becoming uh, a serious, is a serious crisis and, and we need to do something about that. Um, the, the, but just like with electric cars, where they, they didn't look good, they had low range, they didn't have good performance, um, they were like a golf cart, and so people had a real, real hard time buying electric cars. And uh, I think, you know, something similar needs to happen to, to solar. We really need to make solar panels as appealing uh, as, as electric cars have become. The goal is to make, have, have electric, or, you know, solar roofs that look better than a uh, normal roof, generate electricity, have, last longer, have better insulation, um, and actually have a cost, an installed cost, that is less than a normal roof plus the cost of electricity. So then, then why would you buy anything else? We need to do everything we possibly can to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. People sometimes think of Tesla as an electric car company, but, but really the, the, the whole purpose of Tesla was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. Um, it's, not as like, it's not like there was a shortage of car companies in the world. There are plenty of good you know, gasoline car companies, um, but there weren't good electric cars. That's, that's really what, what was needed. So there are really three parts to the solution. What, what is the future that, that we want? Um, it consists of a, a really appealing solar roof, um, then combine that with, with storage and with electric cars. So it's, a three, it's an obvious three-part solution. Uh, during the day, you fill up the, the battery, and then at night, and in dusk and dawn, you, you use the battery. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. If you have solar, a, a great solar roof, and you have a, a battery pack in your house, and you have an electric car, that's something that scales worldwide, that you can, you can solve the whole energy equation with that. The solution is both uh, local power generation and utility uh, power generation. It's not one or the other. Uh, sometimes this, this, the solar roof uh, is positioned as, as a sort of a competitor to, to utilities, but uh, we're actually going to need uh, utility power to increase, um, and we're going to need local power generation. Because if you transition um, all um, energy to, to electric, uh, that, that roughly triples the amount of electricity that's needed. So. Um, you need about a third for transport, about a third for heating, and about a third for what we currently use as electricity. So the future is bright for utilities and for local power generation. I would expect it to be roughly a third local power generation, roughly two thirds utilities. So I think it's a very bright future for utilities and for rooftop. How do we have a solar roof that is better than a normal roof? That looks better, uh, lasts longer, has better insulation, insulating effect, and where the cost of roof plus electricity is, is less than that of a normal roof. Now, this is, um, this is sort of the integrated future. You've got a electric car, a power wall, and, solar, and a solar roof. And the key is that it's, it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and, in, and seamlessly integrated. Um, and then if, if, if all those things are, are true, why would you go any other direction? Uh, we're, we're looking at probably at, at least doubling uh, uh, energy storage growth for Powerwall and PowerPack uh, compared to 2018. Um, we, internally, we have a bigger goal than that, but it, I think we can at least double it. Um, and uh, so it, it would be at least sort of on the order of two, maybe approaching three gigawatt hours. And we're installing the solar roof uh, in eight states, uh, we're about to complete version three of the solar roof. Um, so this is actually quite a hard technology problem to have an integrated uh, solar panel or, or solar cell with a roof tile and have it look good and, l and last for 30 years. Um, like roofs have to last a long time. <laughs> so 
the it, it's it, it is um, the amount of testing that one has to do and do and do accelerated life testing to say how can we predict what how this will perform if we just spend six months of testing and project that out to 30 years. So it, it's it's quite a hard problem, and then making it easy to install, uh, getting the cost low. Okay, can we make a French slate that's solo that looks as good or, or better than a, than a conventional uh, French slate roof, and we're able to do that as well. Um, th that's done with hydrographic printing, so each tile is unique. So it's, it's uh, the, the, the production process itself makes each tile especially unique, a sort of special snowflake tile. But the nice thing is that no two roofs will be the same. So it's not just cookie cutter. Uh, you, you can take any two roofs like that and they will look different because they are different. But I'm really excited about uh, version three of uh, the solar roof. Um, and I, it's, um, I don't want to be overconfident on this, but I think that we, we can, we, we have a shot at um, being equal to a comp shingle roof uh, uh, plus you, someone's utility costs or, or, or being maybe lower than that. So that, that, that's like one of the cheapest roofs available. So you can have a, potentially a great roof um, at, with better economics than a, a, a normal, fairly cheap roof and your utility bill. So if you can have like basically a, a better product at a lower price, that is obviously will take off like, like crazy. So, um, but it is a hard problem to solve. Like uh, many other companies have tried to solve this problem and they have not succeeded. Um, but I, I think uh, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. The scope of, of technology that is advancing at Tesla is, is really massive on many fronts. Um, so as I mentioned, we've got uh, version three of the solar roof uh, coming out soon. Uh, we've got uh, version three of the supercharger that's being deployed around the world. Um, and this is a 75 miles in five minutes capability um, at 250 kilowatt uh, system. Um, if, I'm sure a lot of you have used the superchargers before, and they've t uh, typically been anywhere from 75 kilowatts to, uh, if, if, you, if you've used one recently, you might have gone up to 140 kilowatts. Um, that's, but that's the version two, and then version three is uh, 250 kilowatts. Um, and when, when 250 kilowatts are charging a really efficient car, the miles, the miles per minute is super good. Um, and in fact, I think there was recently a test um, with it that, uh, I'm not sure who it was, but uh, tested like what car could charge the most number of miles in half an hour. Uh, it was the Model 3. Yeah, well, I, th I think the, that, uh, a big part of the value of, uh, of um, solar roof or retrofit solar um, on the roofs of you know, houses and, and, and businesses and whatnot uh, is that so you can have localized power generation. Um, and then if you have uh, a battery storage, uh, that's also very helpful for stabilizing the grid. So you can, um, it, you can sort of uh, overproduce energy during the day um, and then release it at night and actually uh, use the, the power walls and power packs um, as, a, as a massive network uh, for uh, grid stabilization and for pro providing energy, essentially flowing it back into the grid. And, and that would make, will make a big difference to uh, reducing the need for long distance uh, power lines. I think very few people want more long distance power lines. Uh, they're generally not great, don't look great. Um, it's sort of slightly unnerving to drive under them and that kind of thing. So you want localized power generation um, and, and then you don't need to build more uh, substations and, uh, and long distance power lines. I think that's the, that's the answer. We need to do everything we possibly can to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. People sometimes think of Tesla as an electric car company, but, but really the, the, the whole purpose of Tesla was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. Um, it's, not as like, it's not like there was a shortage of car companies in the world. There are plenty of good you know, gasoline car companies. Um, but they weren't good electric cars. That's, that's really what, what was needed. 